Okay, we're going to do powers and roots for and showing you how to do that on the TI-30X-2S. All right, let's do the square root of 8. The square root of 8 has an index of 2. It doesn't show in the calculator, but it's the regular square root button. So this one will go second, x squared, because this blue button does the purple ones, the, the subs, the, whatever's above the keys. Uh, like a submenu, and here it gives you the square root, and then you put 8. You can see it has a parenthesis. It's a good thing to close the parenthesis, and then equals. In this case, you don't have to. 2.8 to 8. How many numbers should you write after the decimal point? That's your teacher to help you out on that. This one's the third root of 1.81. So that one is over here on the caret key above is the square root and has an index of x. So what do we do? So we go, we press 3, second, caret. You know, notice that there is no parentheses here, like the previous one, so 1.81. And then you leave it alone. You don't need to close it. You close it, you get an error. Um, so enter, 1.218. <clears throat> Good. So here we got the fifth root of half. So what you can do is 5, second, caret. You can use the <clears throat> ABC button, right? 1, ABC, 2. You don't need to close it because there's no parentheses, right? Over here. And you just enter and get 0 0.8705. Okay, let's do this one. This one is 3, take away, right? The fourth root, ah, we need, let's press this, let's not press that yet. We need the fourth root of 8. See that? 3, take away the fourth root of 8. It's not written very nicely, but it works, okay? Now, a calculator like this, the TI-30XA, you would not write it out that way. This is a different type of calculator. It's not algebraic, it doesn't show you the information. This one, you would have to enter it differently. So keep that in mind when choosing the calculator that you want. Okay, let's do this one. Three squared, and there's a square button. Equals nine, yes. So we're gonna do nine to the fifth power. So this one, you're gonna click on nine, and then you're gonna use the caret key. And which is very interesting uh, key for this calculator. And then 5 equals. And that's going to give you 59,049. On something like the T, the TI-30XA, you have a Y to the X key, right? And if you look at the 36X Pro, which is the high-end one, um, this one has an X to a little square to tell you that. All right, so different calculators have different ways of showing you the power, okay? Um, let's do this one. This one's negative 4, not subtract 4, negative 4, times 3, and then squared, equals negative 36, okay? This one's negative 5 squared, so we would put negative 5, and then we would use squared, which is right here. Equals gives you an answer of negative 25. Depending on the calculator that you have, this is an algebraic calculator, it's going to give you negative 25. So in the, in the calculator, in this calculator, it's thinking that the answer is 5 times 5, and then you put the negative afterwards. Why is that the case? Because a lot of the times when you do a problem like this, seven, take away five squared, okay? It's gonna give you negative 18, why? Because this is going to be 25 minus 25, seven take away 25 is negative 18. Okay, so let's do this problem. So here we go, two carat negative three. Okay, enter, 0 
Now, negative 3, 2 to the negative 3 is really 1 over 2 to the third. So we could say 2, right, to the power of 3 equals, and then we could do x to the, x to the minus 1. We can take that answer and then um, invert it, take the reciprocal. Um, or we can probably say 1 abc 2 to the power of 3 equals 1 over 8, right? Um, is there another way of doing it? I think that's about it. I bet you there's another way to do it too, okay? Um, okay, so let's move on to the next one, 3 to the 1 fourth. 3 to the 1 fourth is really, this 4 is an index of 4. Okay, so you can say, the fourth root of three. So you can see how these two are related powers and roots. So three to the one fourth. So that's three caret, right? One ABC four. Enter and you get 1.316. Or you can say um, four second right x to the x square root right the nth the nth root which would in this case the fourth root and then you type in three equals it gives you the same answer okay if you like this so far please give it a thumbs up please tell your teacher uh, please tell your friend um, okay as you can see these are the same answers and in this one this one um, there's a few ways you can do it, right? We can put parentheses, right? And then we can say ABC. Let's see, can we press ABC? Yeah, but it won't. It doesn't give you the placeholder. So 2 exponent 3, 2 to the 3, right? Let's see, let's press ABC. 5 squared, right? Close it. And then to, um, I guess you can use caret again, squared equals, um, something went wrong here. Um, probably 2 to the 3, okay, it probably can't do it that way. Let's, let's see, let's do, um, let's do it this way, parentheses, 2 to the 3rd power, right, divided by 5 squared, close it, and then caret 2 equals, there we go. Probably the ABC button doesn't work very well. Um, how would you know if it's right or wrong? By experience. And in this case, I have the answer, just in case, because I'm using other calculators to do this. You have to uh, get to know your calculator a little bit better. All right, I hope this was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Tell your teacher and um, tell your friends. There's a lot more here in this channel. Uh, and if you feel like, hey, can you tell me a little bit more about the calculator or is there, you know, can you show me something? Please, please put it in the comment and we'll, we'll see if we can help you. All right, have a great semester. Bye-bye.